Hello and welcome to SAR Histories, where on the channel today I'll be showing you where to find the Chained Oak in Alton and share its history. This video was asked for by you the viewers and if there are any other places you would like to see on the channel, leave them in the comments below. To get to it, you need to head for Alton by the theme park Alton Towers and turn down a road which passes the Bridge House Hotel and Restaurant. Then turn right onto Red Road. Drive with extreme care along this road as it is narrow and popular with cyclists. Just simply head along this road until you come to Dimmingsdale Valley and Furnace Forest Walks where you can park for free. From the car park you cross the road and pass through a gate. Simply now just follow the pathway to the Chained Oak. There are many walkways around here and it is an excellent place to walk the dog and take some fresh air. It is a very popular place and it can get very busy so I'd advise visiting during the week out of school holidays. Chained Oak is an oak tree tied in chains near the village of Alton, Staffordshire. The tree, referred to as the Old Oak, is subject of a local legend involving the Earl of Shrewsbury and an old beggar woman. On an autumn night, the Earl of Shrewsbury was returning to his home at Alton Towers when an old woman suddenly appeared in the road ahead of his horse and coach. The coach stopped to find why she was there, and at which point the old woman begged for a coin. The Earl cruelly dismissed her, so the old woman stated that she would place a curse upon him. The old woman told the Earl that for every branch of the old oak tree that fell, a member of the Earl's family would die. The Earl refused to listen and continued on his way. That same night, a violent storm caused a single branch from the old oak tree to break and fall. Later that evening, a member of the Earl's family suddenly and mysteriously died. Now, firmly believing in the power of the curse, the Earl is said to have ordered his servants to chain every branch together to prevent other branches from falling. To this day, the oak tree remains chained up. There are slight variations in the story, however, the core remains the same. One version states it was an old man who cursed the Earl, not a woman. A second version that instead of a storm bringing down a branch, the Earl's son was out riding the next day, and as he passed the old oak tree, the woman had been standing under a branch which fell on top of him, knocking him off his horse and killing him. The third version of the story, which was invented for the theme park attraction Hex, the legend of the towers at Alton Towers theme park states the Earl brought the fallen branch back to his home, where he performed experiments in his vault in an attempt to break the curse. Some attribute the legend to Charles Talbot, the 15th Earl of Shrewsbury, dating from 1821, but Alton Towers heritage state that the chaining occurred around the 1840s, which would identify the Earl as John Talbot, the 16th Earl of Shrewsbury. The legend states that a member of the Earl's family suddenly died on the night of the storm. However, the 16th Earl's only son died in infancy and not around the date cited for the legend. There is, however, more rational explanations for the tree being chained. The 15th and 16th Earl of Shrewsbury built and then extended Alton Towers and its gardens. During their tenure, thousands of new trees were planted 
but the old trees were greatly prized. The chained oak was situated in a highly visible position, frequently used by the earls. As such, the tree may have been wrapped in chains simply to preserve it, and preserve it from collapsing under its own weight. On the 9th of April 2007, one of the tree's main branches fell off. The Talbot family confirmed that no one died when the branch fell. If you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Until then, goodbye.